Welcome back to the channel. It's Model Rocks 321. Go on and subscribe to this channel. Hit that thumb up button. In this video, we're going to talk about entry level rockets. And I think this kit right here may be the best entry level rocket you can get. Um, it's a starter set, it's from the Destination Mars series that SD does. One thing, I'm not sure if they're still making this starter set or not. It may be on the website or it may not. I got it from Amazon. You can find it on Amazon and a few other places. I'll put a link below where you can get it um, to make it easy for you if you decide that you want to get one of these, especially if you're brand new. If you've been in this hobby for a while, it's a cool kit to have. You can actually get just the rocket itself. It's a Destination Marv Mav. So you can get just the rocket or you can get the starter set if you're returning to the hobby or if you want to get this as a gift or if you want to get it um, you know, for yourself, like I just said. It's for ages 10 and up, you know, adults. If you're just coming back to the hobby, it's a good, if you've been away from the hobby and you're just coming back, this is a good way to get started again, just for something to build and fly really quickly. You can build this in a day, probably under a day. You can buy it in the morning and build it. You could be flying in the afternoon. It's that simple to build. Um, we're gonna open this up and take a look at everything. It comes with everything you need on the back of the pack right here. Shows you two C63 engines. You get the rocket launch pad, controller, Four igniters, what well, they call them starters now, igniter plugs, recovery wadding, parachute, launch controller, and you get your safety rod, safety key. But you will need plastic cement glue to put it together, and um, you need four AA batteries. And that is all you have to get outside of this. Everything else you do get. We're going to open this rocket up right now. On the side, it shows you the flight sequence. You can see you do your thing, you launch, and it goes up, climbs, you get your ejection, and it returns back to the ground. And I think it's a really cool kit because it's already detailed. You don't have to do any painting or anything. If you just want something to get out and fly, just show your neighbors, get you know some local kids involved or, or anything like that. I think it's just a great, great kit. So let's go on and get this one open and we'll take a look at the, uh, take a look at the parts and see what all comes in here. All right. got here okay so yep. everything's here you will need to get going guys everything's here something is stuck I think there's a some tape or something came loose something stuck it into this uh, what's going on all right there we go there we go I don't know if that was taped in there on purpose just to keep it from moving around I think I think so I think that's the case to keep stuff from moving around so we're just going to move the box out of the way oh, we got something else in here that's uh, the igniters. So, all right, so here we go. This is the launch pad setup. This is the launch pad and the controller. Everything's in there. I see the launch key. And this is the launch rod. So, that's all your launch stuff. Here you have recovery wadding. And you have those two C63 engines, which you can get these anywhere. You can order these. You can get these from Hobby Lobby. They're readily available. And the igniters. So, all that go together. And here we have the rocket itself. And I'm going to open this up just to show you um, how quick and complete this assembly can be. I'm not going to build it right here. I'm just going to show you the parts and we'll look at, just look at the instructions and see what, they, uh, what they're calling for. So that's the launch pad and launch rod. Here's the instructions. Yeah, very simple. <laughs> very simple. The body's already detailed. Body and nose cones already detailed. Shock cords right there. I'm going to see what you have to do with that. Come with a D, I think that's a D. Yeah, you get a sticker decal, launch lug, parachutes assembled. You just have to assemble this lower portion here, it seems. Yeah, this is a really quick build. A few sheets of recovery wadding go in there. I mean, here's a nose cone. Yeah, it's kind of a like nose weight in there. So here's a nose cone. Pretty nice cone, actually. Kind of look like one of those newer style like landers. This is part of the Mars Destination series. So that's what else makes it cool. Like you can, if you have a, like a kid or anybody, you can pretend like it's going to Mars. You know, you can have, have some fun like that. So here's the body tube. So you see the nose cone here, body tube, shock cord already attached. They got one of these lugs. Yep, the uh, launch lugs like this with the uh, shock cord attached to the inside. De de detailed body. I do like that body, it's pretty cool. So you have that. Here is a decal, one sticker decal. That'll get added to this lower portion just by the look of things. Like I said, this is a quick and easy build. This is probably one of the better kits. I, I really do, um, I really like this. I like the design of this rock. I like the, the look of the legs. Had the lander leg type deal. So 
was really cool. So that's all assembled, man. I mean, yeah, they did a did a good job for something that's if you just want to get out and get going. Look at that. Already, this is <laughs> this kit will be done in minutes. I mean, no time at all. I mean, no time at all. You can whip this together. Basically, these two halves will go together. Let's take a look at this. Make sure it is. I'm pretty sure. Yep. You'll glue those two halves together. Step one, glue those two halves. Step two, press them together. Step three, insert the legs. Four, let it dry. Five, screw on the end cap. That's the retainer cap for your motor. So it's basically, if I had glue ready, I'd, um, I'd do it right here on screen. So that would go. These will go in and slide up. You'll glue all this together. Wow, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So that. Then where is that end cap piece? Here's that end cap. An engine will go in there. That'll hold an engine on. Wow. And you will glue this piece. Very modular. Very cool. This is a good kit. I like it. I like it a lot. Actually, like it almost complements the Mars Lander, kind of. Got these legs. I'm going to just put this in here just for the time being. But you will. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and glue all this. But I'm going to go on and tie this shock cord on. So, yeah. Great entry level kit guys um i highly recommend this one i like this i'm gonna fly this kit and we're gonna see its performance you know i want to see six three tie this guy on here i'm gonna do a double knot basic double knot tie everything pull everything tight whenever you do matter of fact parachute let's go ahead and do it we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this let's go ahead and pull the parachute out and what i do is i attach screw eyes to my parachute that's a nice big parachute too. Big parachute. What size is this chute? It's like a 24 inch. Oh, it's an 18 inch parachute. Okay, it's a big one. They gave a big one. I use uh, screw eyes or barrel swivels, you know, for the for my parachutes and stuff. And you can find these. These are available in any uh, hobby. I mean, not hobby store. Um, it's a fit in the fishing section. Wherever you go in, like a department store or any kind of sporting goods store, you go to the area where they sell all your fishing rods and reels and lures and all that stuff. You'll find um. You'll find these guys. I'm about to shake this out. So well, this will be off screen. Make sure everything is lined up. But this is a great kit, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, be sure to hit that like button. Share this video also. If you know anybody that's thinking about getting into the hobby, show them this kit. This is a good one to get started with. You don't have to, like I said, if you just want to get out and flying, and you can get back to building and flying more advanced ones after you do this one. Just get the um, get the feel again. And if you're coming back, if you're a born again rocketeer, <laughs> if you're a bar, you can, um, so you just feed this through the, through the ring on the uh, barrel swivel, clasp, and you loop that through there, and then I'm going to feed it back through. This kit's pretty much done, like in minutes. Like I said, you can really, I could fly this today. I honestly could go out and fly this like right now, really. But yeah, you just pull that through, get all the lines pulled nice and tight. Yep, so there's your parachute. And I'm just going to attach it to here. I'm gonna, you know what, I do a little loop. I do a loop on the shock cord. This is what I do. I don't really put it on the uh, plastic piece. I hook it to the shock cord. Just, I've been doing this for a while. This is the way I, this is the way I do it. And if you want to cut a spill hole on the top of there, they do the dotted lines. I've just been leaving the spill holes. I mean... It, it, it does help. I think it helps reduce the drift somewhat. It helps somewhat, but I can do that. I haven't been getting a lot of wind. One of my launches just recently, I had a long walk on the Alpha. That's an Alpha. Alpha's going to go way up there. So this is, I'm sure this is heavier than the Alpha. That's what makes this good. You'll get a nice recovery from it. Not too far from me, I don't think, on a C63. Yeah, so let's put this down in here. This is pretty much ready to go, guys. This is a great kit and assembling uh, the launch pad and the launch um the launch get yeah, a launch pad is no issue at all very easy to do cool little rocket cool little rocket and here's a decal that will go on here but i'm gonna have to, i still have some stuff to glue but a neat little rocket um here's the other version i had the one that you can buy in the pack by itself slightly different color scheme so that makes it cool is it way different? Yeah, it looks like a, actually a different look to it. They, I like what they did there. They made it a totally different look. So, very nice. So, this is this video I wanted to share with you today, guys. I just wanted to show you that. And like I said, again, you get two engines, everything you need to get started. You just need AA batteries for the launch controller. You know what? While we're here, I'm going to pull those parts out, and I will show you, show you completely what you get. So, let me move all this stuff. 
rocket. I'll put the rocket in. I had a rocket right there so you can lay them down so you can kind of see the rocket. So when it comes to launch pad and everything, very easy again. Um, be careful of using a knife. There's your cables are in here. You don't want to cut the wires to your controller if you use a, a knife. So just be careful with that. Everything's all bundled down. So cut all this away. I like this red pad too. I have the um, I have a vintage Estes one. It's orange. So here we go. We got yeah. We do another cut. Huh? Another cut. I see what the problem is. There we go. So you got the four red legs. Controller. And here's that center piece that holds this all together. So we'll put these legs on right now. Okay, I see what they did. Oh, I got some stuff in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I see a couple pieces in here. Been so long since I had to assemble a launch pad like from, from scratch. Yeah, so you have your end cap. This cap goes on your launch rod. That's your rod safety cap, so you don't go launching. I believe your launch key attaches to that if they're still doing that. It's a good habit to have, I guess, attaching that rod on there. So you'll put these on here. Already different sizes. Yeah, yeah, put these on. Attach these guys like so. I have to stand you up and out of the way now. So there's your launch pad almost. You have your blast deflector plate. And you have three. You can actually stamp these now. That's these industries stamped on there. And you have three pieces to your launch rod. Careful when cutting. Three pieces to your launch rod. Launch rod is super easy if you get into this. I actually like this. It's pretty cool. It's a little piece to keep all your rods together because there was nothing like that way back in the days. Rod simple. You just put these in one another like that. Well, put these in one another like that. If it wants to go, do it want to go? Let me, let me see something. There's any difference? Yeah, this should go. There we go. So we'll just use it. Yeah, that goes in like that. This piece will go here. And this will go on top of here. And this all fits like that. And then what you do is you screw this down onto here. You have a little wing nut. You open the wing nut. Like I said, guys, you can be flying as fast as you want to be flying with this kit. It's there's pretty much nothing to do. <laughs> like this is pretty much ready, and this is your cap. And to take a look at the controller, in case you're finding this hobby and you're brand new, a lot of you guys have been here and you know um, you already know all this stuff. But you have a controller, and you'll, it'll take batteries. Be sure to read the instructions on how to operate this. But it's very easy. So yeah, you have your launch key, which is attached to this now. Back in my day, it wasn't attached. I'll leave the key out until ready to launch. Double A batteries. Oh, this is a difference. This is different. So now you have to unscrew the back. They used to have a little little window, little box, where you just take that off, like a little press and pull. But now you have to unscrew these, take it out, put the four double A batteries in. Hope your connectors, your igniters. Be sure to follow instructions. You'll learn all this stuff. It's super easy to do. This cap goes on top of that rod just until it's time to launch. When it's time to launch, you go remove it, have somebody hold it, the rod, the rocket, here's the rocket, will go on there, here's those launch lugs, rocket will go on, like so. And here's a trick, like there, you don't want this to be too close to the pad, always find something like a standoff, I use a clothespin, closes the clothespin the very old way, and that'll keep you up. You want to be up. Well, there you go. You want to be up off the pad. Just enough for your igniters to be clear. You know, give yourself a couple inches like that. It's like three or four inches like that, and that's perfect. Don't launch from the base like that. Be up. You want to be up a little. And another method is you can put tape up around where this rod is up top. Um, you can't see it, but 
to put the tape up at the base of the lower lug. So this is pretty much ready, um, ready to launch, man. This is um, fun little rocket, fun little rocket. There's your engines, everything in this starter set. This is a great kit to get. Uh, I highly recommend this one. Highly recommend it. So let's take a look at that flight. Model Rock 321. Let's go see how this thing performs. So here we have the SD's Colonizer starter set. Um, this rocket is a really good entry level rocket if you want to get started. Ages 10 on up. Even if you're an adult, adult that's coming back to the hobby, this is a good way to get started again. Real quick to build, real easy. You can see the parts I showed you earlier how to just... um like four pieces to glue together and that's about it and you are good to go it has a nice screw on nozzle for the engine flies on um cab well c engine they recommend c63 which i'm gonna fly here today um comes with everything you need it is a good starter so i highly recommend getting this one um the link below is for that one if you guys want to grab one of these you can use the estes discount code if you're new um it'll work for you if you've been around and you want to get one you can give it a try but from what i heard it's not been working for um people who have bought before using my um, discount code at Estes. So give it a try. We're gonna launch the Estes Colonizer right here. Like I said, it's a really good rocket. I really like this one. So we're gonna get a flight going off right now. It's my Rock 321. Here we go, guys. We got the Estes Colonizer going on a C63. Range is clear, sky is clear. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Nice flight of the colonizer. We got parachute. This is an almost ready to fly kit by Estes. Come down nice and slow. There's also a moon out here today. Let me start walking. Coming down right over us. Came with a 18 inch parachute. It's a really good kit. Really good starter set. You guys should get one if you're just coming back or if you want to get one as a gift or if you're just finding this hobby for the first time. This is the perfect rocket for you coming down coming down really close to the pad real nice launch really nice check that out so you just witnessed a great flight of the colonizer this is a wonderful wonderful starter set everything you need comes in this box as stated it flies great. Just find yourself a nice field, soccer field, football field. And you should be able to recover on a nice calm day. If it's a little breezy, get a bigger field. Because it do get some nice altitude here. It says 250 feet on a C63. Easy to build. Ready to fly pretty much. Just have to build this lower section, which is very easy. Motor retention is easy. Screw on. Take the burnt out engine out, as I have right there. And you can sit this on the shelf and display it. It's my Rock 321. Link below to get yourself a colonizer starter set either from Estes or from Amazon. Either or use the discount code if you go to Estes, Amazon, just place your order and it'll come to you. I'm not sure who's is cheaper as of right now until I load it up. But it's my Rock 321. The great, the best beginning starter set. Destination Mars Colonizer. My Rock 321. Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out! Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio.